Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are tuning into Crosswatch as well. In today's tarot reading we're going to take a look and see who are you attracting into your life right now. Okay, so what type of person are you um, attracting? Um, what kind of intentions are you putting out there? Um, what traits, qualities or characteristics will this individual have or does this individual have if you've already attracted someone into your life? So we'll go ahead and take a look. Um, it is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look and see what kind of person or whom are you attracting into your life. You are certainly attracting or have attracted someone very special. The other thing is um, the person that you are attracting or even have attracted is definitely a reflection of who you are or even the type of person that you aspire to be. Um, you are attracting an individual, okay, someone who is fiercely loyal, uh, someone, you know, someone who's quite spiritual, someone who is very independent, very respectful, um, quite an individual, quite unique, very much themselves. Um, I also feel like you're attracting someone who's quite similar to you in terms of traits, okay? Um, and this individual uh, will be or is reflecting the attributes that you have yourself or once again, the type of attributes that you aspire to have yourself. Someone who I feel like this person is someone whom you hold within yourself. So someone who's very independent, someone who can certainly hold their own, someone who's very in control, someone who's very poised, someone who is, this person has quite, um, they've got quite a presence to them, okay? Even if they're not the loudest person in the room, they've got an energy to them which does get them noticed. Very attractive and I feel like this person is like the energy itself is just full of life and full of vibration. The other thing is you potentially could be attracting two different individuals into your life because you do have the two of pentacles or you could be attracting this person. Um, their energy is like, for example, they've got a very playful energy to them, a very playful side to this person, but there's also a very serious side to them. Okay. So you know, when it's time to work, they work. When it's time for play, they play. So someone who's able to keep the two separate. But I do feel like for some of you, not for all of you, okay, the two of pentacles could, you know, it could be that indication of this person having, you know, a very serious side to them, but also a very um, youthful, very playful side to them. Or otherwise, these could be two very um, different individuals that you are attracting, okay, or have attracted into your life. And both, I feel like, will play a bit, both are very special and both will play a very important role. Um, see, I think the energy that you, you're putting out there, okay, so if this person hasn't entered your life just yet, don't worry, they are on their way, okay? But I can see, you know, the bottom row, there's a lot of fear, okay? There's a lot of fear in your energies and this is something that you're going to have to work through. Okay, it's not something that, you know, will just vanish overnight, but it is something that you're going to have to work through because you want to be able to push this fear aside so that you can attract that person that you want into your life or even re-attract um, someone back into your life. Because for, um, for someone, I can see that you're trying to manifest someone back from your past. You're trying to re-attract an energy um, with, you know, from the past, a form of flame. We're trying to re-attract an ex here, or at least someone that you've even had a fling or, you know, you've had a um, connection with. So there is this energy of fear that is very present in your reading. Okay, but I think it's um, important for you to know that whatever intentions you're putting out there, whatever energy, whatever vibrations you're putting out there, you're essentially attracting that to you. Okay, so if you're, you know, it works on both sides. So, you know, if you're putting out positive intentions, you're attracting positive intentions, you know, but if you're putting out negative intentions, you know, if you're putting out an energy of fear, well, that's the kind of energy that you're going to attract, right? So, you know, it's not rocket science, but you do have to be very careful with your vibrations, your energy and the intentions that you're putting out there. For a lot of you, I do think you're attracting someone who, you know, um, basically, you know, the law, the law states that you receive the same energy that you put out into the universe. And for a lot of you, you are attracting someone who has very similar traits um, or, you know, 
very admirable traits, um, qualities and characteristics that you have. Um, basically, this person, you know, the people that you're attracting to your life are essentially the they're the law of mirroring or the law of reflection. So again, this is someone whom you admire or someone whom you even aspire to be. Someone very independent. This person is very protective. This person is very fiercely loyal, loyal to a T. Um, and it is someone who I feel like is a little bit intimidating because either this is the type of person you aspire to be or you already have that within you. You just have to pull that out of, you know, from out of you. Um, You're going to recognize many similarities in this individual and it's something that I feel like will be a little bit like overwhelming for some because this is someone whom you 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 know once you attract this person or if you've already attracted this person you're going to feel like gosh you guys are so similar in so many ways and you share so many similar passions and you kind of finish off each other's sentences and you have the same sense of humor so there's a lot of similarities again you know the, this is how the law works. The energy that you're putting out there, you're attracting. So if you want to attract someone who's, you know, um, you know, beautiful inside and out, someone who's very independent, someone who, you know, can hold their own, someone who's loyal, someone who's kind, compassionate, gentle, um, you know, if you're if you're already embodying those qualities, it's going to make it a lot easier and a lot quicker for you to attract that individual. Okay. Um, but if you're, if there's a fee, so if you're, you know, if you have positive intentions, but if there's a fee and there is very much a fee present in your energies, water signs, um, then that's going to perhaps delay or even attract the wrong type of person or not even the wrong person. Look, I don't think there's wrong people or wrong turns. I just think, you know, maybe not, not necessarily the person that's right for you um, or even the person that you'll attract the person that you'll need to attract because they'll need to teach you that lesson that you have not learnt. Does that make sense? So it's so important for you to, you know, you have to, there's this, it's not resistance. Well, it kind of is because I think your intentions are positive. I think, you know, um, you desire, you desire, a certain, you desire to attract a certain individual, you desire to attract a certain type of love, someone who has certain types of, you know, characteristics that are very admirable and uh, positive. Um, but at the same time, I think where the fee is coming from is you're scared. You're scared that this is too good to be true or it's not going to happen to you. Or, you know, if this is the person that you're trying to re-attract, then you're scared that you perhaps might repeat certain mistakes or you have certain, you know, you might repeat certain uh, regrets and certain behavioral or emotional patterns and you don't want to get hurt. Or if it's someone that you've hurt, you know, you don't want to hurt them again. So there's this energy of fee, right? And if it's, it's someone brand new, you're just... You might be a little bit cynical, like you don't think this type of person exists. Again, you think, you know, this is too good to be true. And you don't think even though you, you know, you want this, you don't really believe that this is how it works. You don't really think it's that simple. And some of you, because there's, I mean, look at the bottom row. I mean, look at all the swords and then you've got the five of cups. Some of you have had a lot of, you know, you've had a lot of turmoil when it comes to relationships. You might have had failed relationships, partnerships or marriages. You might have experienced a lot of pain and a lot of hurt um, throughout your relationships or even like growing up. And maybe you've just been accustomed to believing that relationships are meant to be difficult. You know, they're meant to be challenging. They're meant to be painful. And if they're not painful, then it's not a proper relationship, right? So there's something quite warped with that perspective. But hey, it's all you ever known. So, you know, you can't really blame yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. But there is something here that's getting in the way. And it is like, it is coming from your thoughts, okay? So it's a mental energy that essentially is directing this flow or misdirecting this flow, rather. rather. So it could be like, yeah, once again, it could be like your... Um, you know, it could be just ne a negative mindset or self-limiting beliefs or you, your, you know, even though you have positive intentions, you don't really think that you can attract this person or that they exist or you can re-attract this person. You don't really think that, you know, you can have a happily ever after because you've not had that yet. Um, I think you have been patient, okay? To an extent, I think you've been patiently waiting um, and I think that maybe some of you have felt some disappointment, some frustration over, you know, where is this person or why is it taking so long for you to get back with someone or why is it taking you so long to meet the right one? Um, there may be perhaps some lessons that you are yet to learn 
or you know before you want to attract someone right if you want to attract a certain individual who has all these beautiful and amazing and wonderful qualities you have to embody that first okay because it's not fair for the other person to have all these amazing qualities and for you to be lacking in those qualities i'm not saying that you are but i'm just saying you know if you recognize that that's your situation maybe that's something that you need to look into deeper right because Again, there's these swords, and swords are destructive. Swords are a weapon. They can be used for get for good, but they're all you know. They can also be used for bad. So watch where you direct your thoughts, because essentially your thoughts are what's creating your reality here. Okay, so if you're you know, single, and if you haven't had a lot of luck, I'm not saying it's your fault, okay, don't take it like that, but you have to take some responsibility, because your thoughts are essentially what's creating a reality, okay, so maybe what you need to do is switch up your thoughts, switch up your way of thinking, because there is someone that I feel like you are attracting, in fact, I feel like there could, there could even be two people that you're attracting, someone very special, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, this is the Destiny, Fake Tarot, um, card from out of the deck so yes it is in your destiny to attract the person that you're trying to manifest to attract the person that you're meant to be with to attract the person that is destined for you it's in your destiny okay but you need to help your destiny along here you need to believe that you know this is meant for you you need to believe that you will be attracting or even re-attracting that person your positive intentions are not enough you need to align with those you need to line up with those so if you're you know if you if that's something that you want, but you don't believe in that, how do you expect for that to happen, right? If, um, you know, if those are your intentions and those are your expectations, but at the same time, you're very cynical um, about this whole thing, it's not going to work because you're not in alignment with your intentions. You're not in alignment with your manifestations. Once you come into alignment, once you harmonize those vibrations, harmonize those energies, and once you come into your alignment, watch how everything will work like magic watch everything will just work like magic everything will work quickly and um very fast because the universe you know the universe delivers the universe always delivers but you have to be in a place where you're ready to accept so yes you know if that person is taking a while to get to you if, if that x you know if reattracting that x is taking a little bit longer than you'd like if you know if things are just not happening on in the love department like you know if you just find yourself in the same type of a relationship in like different type of relationships but essentially with the same type of person watch closely your patterns your emotional your behavioral patterns um and watch watch your thinking okay your thinking your beliefs because essentially that is what's attracting okay that is what you're attracting into your reality and watch what happens when you shift when you shift your way of thinking when you shift um you know from negative to positive because that's why the hangman is here right the hangman is here to tell you that you know delays and setbacks right now are actually um they're not doing you a disservice they're benefiting you but you're not able to see that because you're in such a hurry to, you know, um, to fall in love or you're such you're in such a hurry to attract that person or re-attract that person. But you have to slow down. You have to slow down and you have to, um, you know, absolutely pay close attention to the energy that you're putting out there. So if you're putting out an energy of fee, you're attracting fee back into your life. If you're putting out an energy of resistance, you're, that's what you're attracting. If you are putting out an energy of, you know, positive intentions and an energy of love, and if you're operating from an energy of love, guess what? That's what you're attracting into your life. So it all starts with you. Because I'm telling you, a lot of you are attracting this person that I think is mirroring you or that is a very beautiful reflection of you. But it's taken a little bit longer or it's been very up and down this whole attracting thing like they show up and then they disappear and then there may be a bit of a fluctuating presence and maybe a relationship that stops and starts you know you guys are talking and then you're not talking and then you know that's where the the energy of fee comes in you're, you're fearful you're doubtful you're hesitant you have your reservations about this whole thing and i get it okay i get it but you need to be you need to operate from an energy of love not an energy of fear okay so if you want to attract the person that you're destined for or if you have a specific person on your mind or if you're trying to even re-attract someone from the past 
it is absolutely possible and it is in your destiny but you just have to line up with your destiny all right guys and i'm going to leave it at that thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by subscribing do hit that subscribe button it helps this channel to grow and by liking sharing or um, commenting thank you guys bye